Hi there, I'm Apostle Kelly Cross, and we're going to now talk about uh, one of the other most famous uh, scriptures used against the GLBT community, and that's uh, Leviticus 18 and Leviticus 21, I believe, 21. And, uh, you know, they say a man shall not lie with a man as with a woman, for it's an abomination. One thing to understand is that word abomination, anytime you see it in scripture, pretty much, uh, it's used for idolatry and, and practices of uh, idolatrous nations. Uh, God said, don't do the idolatry that you came out of in Egypt and don't take part in the idolatry of the Canaanites that you're going into that land. Uh, so God wanted them to be different in their worship. So uh, it was an abomination because there were male temple prostitutes and female temple prostitutes, both of which straight men would go into and um, have sex for worship for to fertility gods, to produce fertility in the land, all kinds of fertility, um, you know, livestock, plants, people, you know, they just, they wanted everything to be fertile. And so that's how they would do it with the spilling of seed. It also says a man shall not lie with a beast and a woman shall not put herself before a beast. It doesn't say woman with woman at all because there's no seed involved. It's all about fertility, idol worship. Also, there's two different words for man. The first word means male. And the second word in the Hebrew uh, means like a sacred male or a special man. So that again, um, indicates that it was a man going into a temple prostitute and that's what god was against not against a loving gay relationship